Richard, Brett Saxby ran my data analytics team for three years. Respectfully, I think passing on him is a mistake. Yes. Well, uh, I met with Brett Saxby, and um, uh, t t t to be honest, to be honest, I don't, I don't think he's our man. Fair enough. There are plenty of good alternatives on this list. Although I'm a little confused by your notes on some of these people. David Burnham, annoying slob, fucked up face. I could write better Python with my asshole. You know what, I think, uh, I think you have my list. Yes, I have a very uh, weird shorthand. It's, yeah. Okay, next. Becca, th no, guys, that goes in the, the sunroom. Uh, I'll show you, all right, back in a flash. Come this way, gentlemen, here. God, there are pages of graphic insults here. Fucking Gale Foil, right? Richard, would you be open to having Gil Foyle on the team? Oh, well, yeah, of course. I mean, I'd hire him in a second, but he'd never do it. Richard, Gil Foyle is a man of intense pride. So when he refers to a potential employee as a, a pig-faced fucknose, what I hear is, I need to be needed. Well, what I hear is pig-faced fucknose. Exactly. I mean, Gil Foyle's insults are normally well-crafted, almost poetic. Last week, he referred to me as uh, Frankenstein's bulimic daughter. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. So what do you want me to do, Jared? Beg him? Well, I, I think a little outreach would be in the company's best interest. And really, butt dick? The man's in pain. Hey, um...